or you clicked on the video, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. But now I need you to hit that subscribe button and I need you to ring that bell so you can get notifications for when we post videos. And I need you to smash that like button. I, clearly, I got way too animated. But I need you to smash that like button so we can see how far we can really take this video. We appreciate you. Enjoy the content. Yes. All right. So let's talk about movies that are coming out um, this uh, this week. Uh, dude, struggling uh, yeah, I'll to see. find anything um, good is coming out this week. Bruh. Uh, you're about to see, you know, what's, what's actually on the list. But, um, uh, so the first film we have here, uh, is the, uh, Aeronauts, uh, which, uh, and let me just give you the quick synopsis. Uh, in, uh, 1862 headstrong scientist, James Glasher, uh, and wealthy young widow, Amelia Wren mount a balloon expedition to fly higher than anyone in history as their perilous ascent reduces their chances of survival the unlikely duo soon discover things about themselves and each other that help both of them find their place in the world this is directed by tom harper and is uh and uh and stars uh eddie uh redmayne as well as felicity jones who um we know them from the theory of everything uh which is the the film about uh uh what's his name uh, Hawkins, Stephen um, Hawkins, Stephen yep. Hawkins, uh, and uh, it is their reunion um, from that film because they both started that that film as well. Uh, at what least if I'm they're pretty, hooking up. Uh, well, yeah. When you when you tend to uh, when doing you tend two to, films together, that's a yeah, lot yeah, of time yeah, spent a lot of, together. These are two young, good-looking individuals. You, you yeah. can't help but to wonder. Um, but here's how I feel about this movie. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> um, Why don't you? So I mean. I don't have a good answer for it. <laughs> I, I, would be honest. Yeah. I just look at this movie and the story of two people going up in a hot air balloon and, you know, the, the, the struggles that come with trying to stay afloat and, you know, weather that they may run into and personal challenges and struggles. You know, I'm sure this is a, a great film. I'm, I'm sure it has, uh, it was made for a reason and, uh, I'm sure there's something to be taken from this film. Yeah. But honestly, is this something that I'm interested in? Not particularly, right? It's, yeah. it, it doesn't spark my personal interest. And I just think women named Amelia need to stop flying, okay? <laughs> we got Amelia Earhart, right? Yeah. And what happened to her, we don't know, yeah. right? We've got this, this uh, what's her name? Amelia? Uh, the uh, Felicity Jones plays Amelia Wren. Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones, who plays... Um, Daenerys. Uh, Daenerys Targaryen, right? Yeah. How many dragons does she get killed? <laughs> Flying? Uh, uh, just only stop. two. Only two. Two, yeah. only two <laughs> dragons? That's a lot of dragons. <laughs> there are only three. <laughs> So just stop, Amelia's stop flying. All right, the air is not meant for you. Stay on the ground. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, either way, uh, this film. Um, yeah, uh, th this film doesn't necessarily pique my interest. But then, I, look, uh, and we're going to do a press play later uh, on the uh, uh, on the new film, uh, The Irishman. Um, so stay tuned for that. But uh, that film cemented something that I thought about. And I'll say it in relation to this is you can you can make any subject matter sexy, but it just depends on how you tell the story. So that's why I'm trying as hard. And I and I I meant to talk about this at the top of the podcast, um, but I watched a movie um, or some short films yesterday. I, I went to an event here at the shout out to Creative Alliance um, uh, and uh, they were showing um some films from the uh, is a uh, Charm City filmmakers, mm -hmm. uh, which I, I they're a collective and they're essentially filmmakers that sort of help each other out on on their individual projects. Um, and I went there and I was kind of blown away because it was really good. You know these 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 films that I was that, are, that I was watching. There were some that were I feel like were a little better than others and yada yada. But for the most part, they're all pretty pretty good. Which it's hard for me to say sometimes because sometimes I, even if I feel the slightest bit of awkward, I can't do it. You know. Yeah. What I mean? uh, but the, these films actually held up. So I'm trying to get more into the mind frame of just trying to be open to something, even if it doesn't sound like it's originally something that I'd fuck with. Yeah. Now, uh, granted, this particular film, um, I watched the trailer. The trailer is it's you know it's suspenseful, it's intense. The trailer was really well put together. Mm -hmm. um, 
when I say I'm not interested in this film, am I going to go see this in theaters? Honestly, no, right? Because yeah. I couldn't justify spending, um, <laughs> you know. No, uh, I, I couldn't justify I, I, using one of your weekly. <laughs> well, I, that, <laughs> I haven't signed up for that thing yet, but I will. Yeah. And um, actually, this is opening uh, limited, so chances are it's probably not even showing near. Yeah. That now, near. if if I were, um, you know, scrolling through Netflix and I saw this movie, mm-hmm. would I watch it? Yes, because I often do this thing on Netflix where if I'm having trouble finding something to watch, I'll just, you know, I'll click ten times and mm-hmm. whatever I land on, I watch. Yeah. So it could literally be anything i mean uh the other day i i did that you know i clicked 10 times scrolling through Mm -hmm. and i landed on the bikram yoga um it's like a little uh, docu-series or it's not a series uh documentary on the uh um, the gentleman who created bikram yoga i forget his first name his last name is bikram yeah Uh, very interesting thing and would i have watched that initially probably not but i I landed on it i watched it yeah last night i did the same thing i landed on dark crimes a movie with jim carrey Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where he's like a detective and yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's funny. It surprisingly felt longer than The Irishman, but um, <laughs> it's because it wasn't that great. Yeah, uh, fair enough. All right, so uh, so let's move forward here. Uh, another film that's actually coming out um, this uh, this week is. Uh, uh, the film The Banker, mm. uh, which Can't wait for this. Yeah, we, we actually talked about uh, about this a uh, a little while back because the, the trailer just dropped a little while back, and it's actually an interesting thing, right? Like. Um, some of these uh, some of these streaming films they'll come out in theaters right so uh, I'm not used to a trailer dropping and then like the next week you being know, able to watch the film you know coming out at so home just, in your bed exactly so but uh, but this isn't um, it's actually coming out in theaters first before it actually drops I think on uh, Apple TV Plus un- unless I'm mistaken um, but this is a this is a, a film hold on here I'm sorry uh, let me get my thoughts in order here. Um, so, who's in this movie though? Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson and uh, Anthony Mackie, as well as Nia Long. Um, uh, okay. And who uh, the the white actor who plays like the the front of the business? Yeah, uh, he, he was in the X Men series. Uh, hold on. He, he played uh, um, Nicholas Holt. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. He played Beast in the X Men. Yeah. Uh, so the banker is based uh, on a true story of two African American entrepreneurs, Jackson or yeah. Uh, Samuel Jackson and Anthony Mackie, who during the 1950s hired a working class white man to pretend to be the head of their business empire while they posed as janitor and chauffeur. Uh, so this is um, uh, this is directed by uh, George uh, Nolfi uh, and written by Brad Kane or story by Brad, Brad Kane. And uh, 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 the screenplay was written by uh, Nicole Levy. Uh, and stars Samuel Jackson, Nicholas Holt, Anthony Mackie, and uh, of course, Neil Long. This looks um, good. So we did a review of the trailer. Yeah. Um, I believe this was like a week ago, two weeks ago, and now it's, um, it's going to be in theaters and then on streaming services or on Apple TV Plus. Mm-hmm. Uh, this looks good. Yeah. I, you know, again, like we talked about when we reviewed the trailer, I mean, I like the cast. I like the storyline. Um, the, tra- the first trailer looks good. And again, just the story just looks uh, original. It looks interesting. It looks intriguing. I think the perspective that this is coming from, it's not about like, you know, racial. It definitely uh, is about racial tension. No, I mean, it's racial tension is, is a big part of the story because it's a part of the reality of what really happened during mm-hmm. this particular time. Mm-hmm. But I think it focuses more on other things than, um, you know, the racial disparity that was going on during this time, which, you know, a, a lot of these movies uh, can sometimes be a bit heavy. And it is one, it is always great to have one that it's a little bit lighter, but it also tells like a great story. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. That's an interesting take because I think, uh, I think that this film looks like it's primed to talk about some pretty heavy racial issues when you have two black uh, uh, entrepreneurs who are essentially doing, uh, trying to essentially start Black Wall Street. Uh, and they get a white dude to be, you know, they're the, the, essentially the face of it so they can even get it off the ground. Yeah. You have but to talk to, about racial yeah, issues. You have to, but case. to me, that's like humorous in and, in and of itself, right? It's like, it, it, to me, this mm. is about... Okay, so you're, so you're saying that it's not just like some heavy-handed, like, oh, uh, just white people being racist. Like, Yeah, to yeah, me, this is about like just, ingenuity. This is about, um, you know, okay. being... So there's, uh, there's an angle to it. Is there, it's saying. about yeah. ingenuity and entrepreneurship, sure. and, and it's about a lot of like really... Uh, 
you know, uh, lighter, more positive things. Yeah. And I, I can imagine this movie is going to be very funny, right? These yeah. two this guy posing as the chauffeur and the janitor while this white man, you know, pretends to run the business. Samuel L. Jackson. Um, I think this is going to be a very fun film where you can like, you're actually going to be able to laugh and smile at times. Um, yeah. It's going to focus more on the positive than you know, the negative. Yeah. And uh, like I said, this movie drops this, uh, this uh, Friday, which is December 6th. Uh, and uh, so it comes out in theaters and on a limited basis in uh, on the 6th, but it actually comes out uh, for streaming on the Apple TV plus uh, platform uh, in January um, of 2020. It's a long time. Uh, that is a long time. Um, I, is it a long time? It feels like it. Does it? <laughs> December sixth to January when? Uh, December sixth to January. It's like it, when it just January? says January. I don't, I, January. I, I didn't, yeah, no, I don't. I don't see a specific date. It feels long. December's a long month. Right. There's a lot going on. Fair enough. Okay. It's cold. Yeah. You got people are spending a lot does of money. Time, does time slow down when it's cold? I guess. Yes, a cold minute <laughs> is like a warm hour. Did you just think of that right now? Yes. Damn, that was smooth. Woo! Hey. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, I don't even know exactly what that means, but... <laughs> it doesn't, it, listen, it's one of those things your grandfather would say yeah, right. that sticks, that stuck with you. Uh, it, it absolutely does sound like something. One day like my daughter's going to be talking to some people. She's like, you know, my father used to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, hold minute. minute. Yeah. <laughs> That's just... Uh, I want that so badly. Yeah. Right? Like, especially when you have kids. To have, like, want, saying. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my father used to say, or my grandfather father used to say uh fuck like, that i don't want to be used to say it. i wanted to say he still says it because he's still alive <laughs> yes yes very true but like generations later uh, you, know, yeah, you yeah, want yeah. that like to yeah, leave yeah. my great-grandfather to used leave to say, that yeah. bit of a gem that passes down family to family dude i, I think that's why i'm so to write some of this shit down th- that's why i'm so interested in filmmaking man because uh it, it's a way to encapsulate your thoughts and yeah. a piece of you without having to like rely upon people spreading that themselves but to like have an actual thing oh you want to know what my granddad thought watch this film you yeah. know um or just even forget just family you know just anybody hey you want to you want to know what that dude tune day used to think here's yeah. a, here's a film that perfectly explains sort of like how he thinks and how he feels um and you can do that like you know and that could be from like the director's perspective like the actors the writers yeah. uh you know there's so many people who are involved in that filmmaking process that you can um at, to your point you can say like here's this person's perspective or their thoughts their feelings during this period of time encapsulated in, in this film yeah that's why we all love movies right they're so in, influential and in, in, inspiring yeah 